Now, everybody has a tipping point. And what is a tipping point? Eventually, we get too much emotional pain, either from losing, being wrong, missing out, or leaving money on the table. And these are the four primary fears that Mark Douglas talks about in his book, Trading in the Zone, which if you haven't read, you should get it. And any one of those are the four major primary fears, but also primary emotional pain causes that we have in the market. And it pushes us over our tipping point. And when we get pushed over our tipping point, there's typically three responses. The one is we stop, we cease, we get out, we give up, and we cease managing our own portfolio. And at the end of the day, it's our fault because it would have come from mistakes. But you can't stop investing. Your money's got to be invested somewhere. You can't put it in the bank. You've got to solve the problem of investing. And if you're not investing it, then it's still invested by somebody else using some process. And most of us, when we put our money into managed funds, or and I've certainly done that in the past many, many years ago in my 20s, nobody questions what their process is or what their edge is. They just blindly give it to them. Even when people go to financial advisors, they're, they're very backward in coming forward about asking, you know, what is the process? And that is probably why most people who invest in the market don't have a process. They just make it up as they go. The second is to, I tried that once and it didn't work. Therefore, I'm going to change my investing approach. Now, most, most uh, half decent investing approaches work. If they've got an edge, they work. And typically what needs is some improvement, either in slightly in the edge or in the way that you use it or in your own skills. And the third response is to step into a process to get better. And the third is probably the least used way that people go about things. You know, the grass is always greener on the other side. You know, when really what we need to do is water our own grass where we are. So the question we should all ask ourselves is, how do I manage my portfolio optimally so I can do life well, so I can get on with my life, so the portfolio can deliver to me what I want, but I can also get on to the other things in life as well, and I want that portfolio to be optimal. Then what we need to do is get to work on getting your portfolio process into shape. And then on an ongoing basis, you know, to have a functionally fit and healthy portfolio process that it becomes a habit for you to do and easy to fit into your life. Now, it won't be a quick and easy or painless. It's going to require some work, right? And actually executing the process is not painless either. But as, as, you, as you use it more and more, as you use any process more and more, it becomes less painless and it becomes more effortless. And then it becomes easier to do. But unfortunately, what most people want is they want the destination without the journey. And they want the reward without the work. Now, I'm warning you up front, you're going to need to do some work. And one of the things, one of the real deliverables that can come out of this, is that you will end up having something that will really transform the way that you go about investing for the rest of your life. So when you step into that process, any of you step into any process, you know, there's the easy path and there's the path of life. I took this photograph while I was in Europe earlier in the year. And in fact, it was in, just outside Dublin in Ireland. And, and the easy path is the way that we mostly default to. The easy path is typically the path of least resistance. The path that has a, has a, has a quick instant gratification dopamine hit. That's the path paved with chocolates is what we want. But unfortunately, the path paved with chocolates doesn't get you to the optimal weight that you'd like to be. But it tastes real good and you get a dopamine hit along the way, right? So what are dopamine hits in the market? Well, crypto, FX, you know, 400 to 1, 100 to 1 leverage. They're looking for the hit of a big rush. They're looking for the one-armed bandit hit on the, on the poker machine where the coins come tumbling out. But that is not what we run about. We're on the path of life. We want that we are on a slow and steady with this valley and peaks. We are the tortoise. We're not the hare. Too, because you know, the longer and the slower and the steadier, and the more valleys and peaks that you go through, the more ingrained winning a winning mindset becomes. Because you gotta go through the periods of being tested to be able to grow. Because there's no other way, unfortunately. Uh, it's the grind and the discomfort has to be felt and has to be done. And it's a never-ending process because there's always a new level to go to. But I know for a fact that you'll be able to apply this to other parts of your life too, because it's the same process. It's the process of you know, continuing with your gym or even working on a diet or whatever it is, because there's always a new level to go to, but we can't grow unless we get tested.